Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Tom Vlogs and in today's video, we're going to be talking about the affirmative method in the book of the power of the subconscious mind by Joseph Murphy. We're going to start off with the passage and I'm going to read you the passage and explain a little bit what the affirmative method is. The result of the affirmative process of prayer depends on your conforming to the principles of life regardless of appearances. So pretty much what he's already saying in the book is that whatever you're affirming, you need to conform to whether or not your reality is showing if it being a fact. First, let me give you an example. So if my mom's being rude to me or anybody in my life is being rude to me, I must affirm that they're being nice and respectful to me over and over regardless of what my reality show me is pretty much what he's saying. So then he says, the affirmative method was chosen by the author for use on his sister who is to be operated on for the removal of gallstones in a hospital in England. The condition described was based on the diagnosis of hospital tests in the usual x-ray procedures. She asked me to pray for her. We were separated geographically about 6,500 miles. But there's no time or space in the mind principle. So pretty much what he's saying right there when he says there's no space or time in the mind principle, he's pretty much saying that no matter how far he is, no matter what the time is, whatever he's going to believe in his mind is what's going to conform. And he's going to believe in that prayer that he's saying. Because every affirmation that you say is pretty much a prayer. He then affirms as follows. This prayer is for my sister Catherine. She is relaxed and at peace, poised, balanced, serene, and calm. The healing intelligence of her subconscious mind, which created her body, is now transforming every cell, nerve, tissue, muscle, and bone of her being according to the perfect pattern of all organs lodged in her subconscious mind. Silently, quietly, dissolved in the vitality, wholeness and the beauty of the life principle are made manifest in every atom of her being. Wow, that's pretty deep. I'm not going to lie. I don't know if I could ever send a prayer like that or even think of the words that he's using, but goddamn. She is now open and receptive to the healing currents which are flowing through her like a river, restoring her to perfect health, harmony, and peace. All distortions and ugly images are now washed away by the infinite ocean of love and peace flowing through her, and it is so. That's a pretty deep prayer. Like, he's really explaining this with intent. And see, that's the thing that you guys need to understand is when you do pray or when you do affirm for things in your life, you guys need to have an intent. You don't just sit there and say, I'm handsome, I'm beautiful, I have a million dollars. No, you say it with, like, an emotion. You want to create this feeling like he did. He said this, and he was just like, that. this is what's going to happen. Because at the end, he said, and it is so. Like, you, you claim it. You got to claim it and say it with, like, Real confidence, you know what I'm saying? You can't just be saying stuff and just not, like, meaning it. You you can't have words without meaning, right? You need to put emotion and, and a lot of effort when you do make these affirmations. It's not just you wake up the morning and affirm and things are going to happen. That's just not how it works. So then he says, I affirmed the above several times a day. And at the end of two weeks, my sister had an examination, which showed a remarkable healing and the x-ray proved negative. So he pretty much affirmed several times a day, he says, and at the end of the two weeks, you know, it showed that he healed. And that's the thing. You need to say these things with conviction. If you do believe in what you are saying, it shall come true. And that's the thing. When you say stuff with meaning and conviction and you put emotion to it, your mind's going to believe it more rather than saying, oh, she's going to be healed. Yeah, you know, like, uh, like. No, you need to say, like, how, how he said that long affirmation, I feel like it's good that he put a lot of detail in it because he had an intent on exactly what he wanted. It wasn't just, she's going to heal. She's going to heal. She's going to feel better. No, he said it with emotion. Like, he really said a long paragraph and really had meaning into what he's saying. And that's important, too, is to have an intent with these affirmations. Then Joseph Murphy states, to affirm is to state that it is so, right? When you're saying something, right? Words, you need to understand these words have meaning. And as you maintain this attitude of mind as true, regardless of all the evidence to the contrary, you will receive an answer to your prayer. So, right? Like we said in the beginning, what you say is so damn important. No matter what you are seeing in your reality, you need to believe in your words. Like, have you ever heard someone say, speak it into existence? That's what they're doing. You're affirming and you have to believe it is true. If I say something, it is going to come true, right? You could hear it in my voice. I'm speaking with conviction. Like, I know it, right? I'm going to get a thousand subscribers, right? I know it. I don't care what, I don't care what the fuck this shit's showing me. I have a thousand subscribers, right? Say it with conviction. Say it like you mean it. Say it like, like this is true. Your thought can only affirm for even if you deny something, you're actually affirming the presence of what you deny. Repeating an affirmation, knowing what you are saying and why you are saying it leads to mind to the state of consciousness where it accepts 
that which you state as true. Like I exactly said, repeating an affirmation, knowing what you are saying and why you are saying it. That is the intent. People just teach affirmations. Just say affirmations. No, you need to have an intent. You need to have a purpose just with anything in life. To create something in your life, you need to give life meaning, which means you need to speak something with conviction and, and be confident in what you're saying. It's not you wake up and say affirmations like, like you got to know why you're saying this and, and, and really use your emotions and, and really believe in what you are saying. So keep on affirming the truths until you get the subconscious reaction, which satisfies. So pretty much get into that Sabbath state, keep affirming till you believe that it, your mind believes that it's true and just dwell in that state. You know what I'm saying? And, and if you don't, and if there's some days where you don't believe in it, no, wake up, hell no. Like, I got this, you know what I'm saying? I'm confident, like just be confident in what you're saying and believe in what you are saying. Like know exactly why you are saying some of the things that you say also. Like don't just say things for no reason. Just like when you're hanging out with your friends or buddies. We are creating something. Every day you're creating something with your thoughts, the language that you're using, even body language, the way that you carry yourself. You're carrying a certain energy that's gonna project in the world. And that projection that you project in the world is how you feel on the inside. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. If you like this video, you know, I feel like this was a powerful video because I feel like not a lot of people understand that they need to say affirmations with an intention. That's pretty much all I want to talk about today. I love y'all and I'm out. Peace.